Hello once again, everyone. Welcome back to Game of Thrones, a Dale Dale game. Serious. Or something. Wait, so. Like Not a to weapon. never lift one of those again. Well, you pick yeah. like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, Barrels were a heavy man. Let's go to the wall. Rolls on the way down the wall. Then break up. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. It's a lot of melting for a 600 feet high wall. Of ice. Solid ice. Delta melts in that time, mate. Seriously, sorry. These are all times, man. That got them to me. No, back down in King's London. There are so many guests already arrived. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. That's gonna be a wedding to remember. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie really? was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. That's true. We're, we're pretty Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Good. I'll need and it. Look, there he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. He's a bit old. A handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. Yeah, he's a bit I old for her, you know? Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. This is this you make an excuse for me? You're like 18. Please. Go on then, it'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. Okay, you go... Uh, take your obsession with her like a f guy who's like 15 years older than you. And I'll go talk to this beggar. What do you want? Quickly. What are you doing here? Oh no, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Look, that night, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. Well, I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. The looking for the missing guard? I was down in Fleabottom last night. When I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about shh. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. Good. No one will know what you did. Oh, come on. You're a good friend. What? What uh. is it? If we're going to survive this. I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh, no. Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. 
with that coal boy not to say it's wrong but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing oh thank the gods you came along Sarah that boy he fancies me he'll find any excuse to talk I just don't have the heart to drive him off so you misled him I wouldn't waste the time come on Marjorie expects us at the throne room we don't want to be late you can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, here's the old guy. Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have. Alright. Here might be from Dawn. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere. I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we. What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I. Uh... If you're going Your to Grace. speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. Actions are what matter. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? It was just a cup of wine. Nothing more. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Roger that. But I can't just bring in my family name. I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again. You can go home to your family. Bridget, that. I promise I won't speak to him again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Stuck up, bitch. Ah, she's alright. Why do? Ah, it's Roderick dreaming about the red water. 
Roderick, it's the White Hills. The assembly White Hills, that's what they are called. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. Oh, I'll be fine. I've got a walking stick now. This will be the wait holes that are going to fuck our shit up. But our summon here will push us in here because of the cat Ramsey. His son is leading them, isn't it? Is that him? The bearded guy? Hmm. I mean, he is quite an old man. The Lord Whitehall. So, believable. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. He's having a good time. Those are strong words for a cripple who can't carry a sword. Oh no, that's definitely a son. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Oh, you're a fourth-born son, you are you? Rick, we used to call you, swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick, beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. We've given your men the wine they want. If they drink too much of it, that's their doing. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. You have no You're right. Here under the orders of Bruce Bolton. Warden of the North. Oh. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody want, please. You oh. can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do we'll whatever. We do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Don't push me, lad. Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. You can't go in there. 
We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. No! You're a fourth born son who has no chance of being a lord whatsoever. You're just fine trying to find you make yourself be manly against a fucking cripple. I'll show you yet. Griff Whitey. That snot nosed fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. When we have our them... people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in... Whether he rides out on horseback... Or ends up in the ground... Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles. Or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. So Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. We'll have to play this carefully. Right? He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? Yes, right, the Sparrows. I mean, we can't really kill Griff because we'll. Can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Hmm. I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> we have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Iron Rath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those riches will do to my son? Speak true. Would you give up this house? But your brother! We must secure Ryan Rath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. I won't! I'll risk it in the next episode. It's decided. We take back our home. Then get Ryan back. Our men with Gregor at the twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitehills are already fortified inside Iron Rath. Thankfully. Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores, but those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened cell swords. Mira can't do shit. Bannerman. We'll need to pay them for it, which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the uh, coin we yeah. need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, be patient. Another, there's a fight ruined. 
So I have much to prepare and men to train. You do do that. We're gonna need them, man. I'm gonna grow strong. Then fuck up Griff and his man. Single handedly if it needs but I can talk him. I'm a hardened veteran, whereas he I'm oh. guessing is not. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter. The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. Uh. It will be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives, but it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it. That's and true. I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. I'll meet with her. I'll we'll handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point when the time comes. Make a point there, Duncan. An alliance with a Whitehall might just be beneficial to us. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. Oh yes, the famous dove pie. To let the kitchens know. It's a pigeon pie, pie though. Flowers. Pigeon pie. They're just all wrong Unless in the crown dove pie is another farm, it's, but that's pigeon pie. Wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Oh, of course I am. Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Hello. You, and you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But Lady Marjorie. Very well. I'm sticking with you know that matter we discussed. <clears throat> a royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. What? You would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. Thank you for telling me, Lord Tyrion. Oh, one more thing. The most valuable favor is a favor unspent. Perhaps I'll call on you for a dance at the wedding place. Enjoy the festivities. Right. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. That's a review. Welcome to the family, for better or worse. Lord Tyrion, if you'd only shared some wine with Tyrion, why does he come to you now? What's this talk of a royal decree? You know I didn't want you talking to him. I made a deal with him, for the crown to buy my family's ironwood. Think of how this will look. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. We'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> Damn it! Tell her the truth doesn't always help. Uh. I'm losing favor, and that's not good. Decisions and conversations.
What a what? Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. He did. Lord Snow. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. People pass through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, many of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Finn can handle himself. I bring him to a fight. I'm glad he can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing This one's for the Boltons. Here's after me. Garrett. Garrett, what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester. Don't do something you regret. It deserves a lot worse than being sent off here. This isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. But, um, we're gonna have to live with the murderer of my family now. That's not good. Now for the wedding. Because we're far away from the action. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you. But it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. She's just pretty mad, baby. I was getting her dress for the wedding. She was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Sarah? It doesn't matter. It was just names. This is about you. <sighs> Look. You once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. Thank you, Sarah. 
I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. Thank you, Sarah. I'm not letting You're a good friend. Yes, what do you I want? You. you were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Yes. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? No. Uh, seven hells. You there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with her. Are you sick, man? Do you think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. I'll get you that towel. Thanks for serving me. I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. I appreciate that. No need to explain what that was all about. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. That's Consider true. Consider me impressed. My partners, I'm afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. Of course I do. Whitehall Ironwood is inferior to my family. Always has been. The crown needs the best. Well played. But I know you don't really believe it's that simple. He only brought you into that throne room to turn us against each other. To get the cheapest ironwood from you. He played you. Played us all. Like little toys. Do you think it matters to me what he paid or why he chose me? My family won. That's all I care about. And that, my lady, is why I'm talking to you. Yes. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? A bit. But there's no one you can really trust. But what you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Yes. Control the price of ironwood together. What? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it. <laughs> oh, Papa what egg? <laughs> Do this. bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, 
perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pipe. Yes, it would, would it just? So I'm gonna pause it here guys, and next time we're gonna get that degree. I'll see you guys then, peace out, Girl Scouts.